Hello and welcome back to Hammerhead Sports Production. Please keep watching my videos and please subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. So, in recent breaking news, it was announced that Saints starting quarterback Drew Brees has suffered both a collapsed lung and multiple rib fractures on both sides of his body. Before I even get into the football aspect of this injury, I would really sincerely wish Drew Brees to the best health possible and for him to recover fully from this injury. And I wish him both of his, uh, both him and his family, the best. Now into the uh, video. So this can have a major impact, uh, division wise, on the Saints since they are right now sitting at a seven to two record, and the Bucks, coming off a very convincing win over the Carolina Panthers, are sitting at seven and three. Though it did help that they were that the Bucks were see, uh, season swept by the Saints, while before Breeze uh, Breeze was injured. But if uh, the Bucks were to win out, they could possibly steal the division and maybe a first round bye because of the Drew Brees injury. But I sincerely think that um, the Saints can definitely uh, keep competitive, and I'll get into that later. So first, I'd like to dive into the two reports that were announced that came five hours apart. So first, I will say uh, Ian Rapp reports. And this is mostly a quote, but I did paraphrase a few a uh, few places to shorten it. Um, Saints quarterback uh, Drew Brees suffered a rib contusion in yesterday's game, and he'll have an MRI for cartilage damage today. But sources tell me in Tom Pelissero that New Orleans is bracing for Brees to miss some time to fully heal. And five hours later, Ed Weird report uh, reported. Source, results of medical evaluations performed today on Saints quarterback Drew Brees have revealed that he has multiple rib fractures on both sides of his uh, chest excuse me, and a collapsed lung. Oh, these injuries occurred over, two, over a two-week span. It is uncertain how much time he might miss. And again, I did paraphrase. And kind of change a few words, but that's most that is most uh, mostly what he the two of them said. So, um, this the injury is very similar to what uh, Drew Blood so uh, got in two thousand one on the hit between him and Mo Lewis, and that caused him to miss significant time, and it nearly caused him to die. So that's why I am really worried about Drew. Though uh, it is not, but it is not said that he has a blood clot. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that that could happen. So I'm, I'm somewhat scared of that happening. And also, last year he did miss five games due to a, f a wrist injury. Uh, not, excuse me, hand injury. And I just like to also allude to this. He did make some comments earlier this year about maybe uh, possibly running out of time. And I wonder if the last two years since he has been a little banged up will cause him to retire. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm not saying that that he's thinking that. I'm just alluding to that. I'm just making uh, a point. And so anyway, also, so let's get back into what I alluded to earlier about how the Saints can definitely stay competitive. The, uh, last year, this as I said, he missed five games. The Saints won all five games with uh, backup Teddy Bridgewater who played very good, and the team played very well defensively and offensively. So that can, I think that can definitely happen again this year with them having a, another very capable backup in Jameis Winston, who, who is ironically the former starting quarterback for the Bucs. And, uh, yeah, he missed, He finished yesterday's game throw, uh, completing 6 of 10 passes for 63 yards. Um, I definitely think he can help. Uh, the Saints run the table in the absence of Drew Brees. And I think Sean Payton will definitely draw up some uh, offensive plays that will hopefully fit to the strength of Jameis Winston. And Jameis will probably play a little more safety with the ball, to, but he'll he'll probably still be a gunslinger. And we'll see how that goes. But they might probably they're probably also going to lean a little bit heavier on the on the run game. And the reason I definitely think it's going to be Jameis is because the T Taysom Hill is more or less their emergency quarterback in case Jameis gets uh, hurt. And But who knows if they'll sign another quarterback uh, just in case.
so that has yet to be determined. But honestly, they, their defense has been looking very well the past, excuse me, the past two weeks. Um, their secondary has been looking better. Their run defense has been looking better. The pass rush has been looking better. I mean, all in all, they, they are playing top ball right now just as much as the Bucks. So it's good that two te- that two of them, that the Saints are now hot just as much as the Bucks are hot. And um, we'll see how it goes. But um, who, who knows? Maybe if Jameis plays bad, then they'll put then they'll put Taysen in. But also maybe this might happen if they do if they do not win all the games that he is um injured for. I wonder if he try to rush back and try to get back at, st- at the starting quarterback position for the Saints and try to win out and try to help the Saints get back into the. Um, back into maybe getting a bye or to win the division. So that could happen. Um, or if, if Jameis gets hurt, then they'll place Tyson in. And then they'll have to sign another quarterback. But still, this does have mo- a very big impact on the season overall. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.